Hello animators and welcome to another video. Today we are going to talk a bit about a software that we think isn't getting as much love as it rightfully deserves. Oh, while it is really popular in some circles, we think it deserves more notoriety. For some reason a lot of people don't know about it. Of course we are talking about the one and only Crazy Talk Animator aka Cartoon Animator. Now entering its fifth release. This package is everything you need as a rigging animator. It makes your life so much easier dealing with those vector characters. And the software is jam-packed with features that anyone can take advantage of. There is a lot of stuff here that we can't list all in this video, but we will try to hit the most major and useful ones that we think are a must-have for any animator's arsenal. Before we start, for transparency, this video is sponsored by Reillusion, the creator behind iClone, character creator, and of course, character animator. But although this is a sponsored video, Real Illusion has no editorial input into this video. We do think that this product is worth it, so let us know in the comments down below your experiences with Cartoon Animator and whether you agree or you disagree with this assessment. So, starting from the top, in essence, Cartoon Animator 5 is a fully fledged vector and raster character rigging and animation software that's jam packed with many features that would make any animator's life 10 times easier. However, that doesn't convey the whole story. The devil is in the details, as they say, so let's take an example of this awesome tool that allows you to turn your realistic images into dynamic animations. By using multiple tools available in Cartoon Animator 5, you can turn static images into animated characters or anything that you want. Simply apply bones over the different moving elements in your image. It could be anything, not just a character. It could be a plant, a toy, and watch the magic happen. Now, of course, it's not like you can manipulate the image fully like a completely built from the ground up character, but this small movement brings life to your images effortlessly. Couple that with another awesome feature called Spring Dynamics to add even more energy and liveliness to your animations. And this one can be extremely versatile as it can be implemented in a plethora of different ways. For example, there is the obvious adding follow-up or intricate movements that you want the software to do it for you like hair or a piece of clothing, like a cap floating through the wind. However, there is also not so obvious usages like chain reactions, for example, a flock of birds or a school of fishes. And these can be adjusted accordingly to fit exactly what you need. Sometimes you might need to add a delay between different element movements, which is also kind of neat. Spring physics can also react to all types of movements from simple transform keys to mouse driven facial puppet and live performances made by facial tracking or motion capture. Um, did I mention that Cartoon Animator allows you to capture live performances to use as facial motion capture? No? Alright. Furthermore, the software also offers a long list of samples and presets or templates with the most commonly used object in mind, uh, which makes it easy to find a starting point. All in the spirit of turning your images into animation, there is another great feature that is extremely versatile as well in adding extra level of movement to your animations. Uh, by using FDD on any animated 2D character, you can easily accentuate or enhance different motions in your characters. One of the fundamental principles of animation is to squash and stretch, and this tool can help you do that easily by either applying it manually or using one of the many available presets. There are actually more than 100 organic FDD presets divided into six main categories. Basic for scaling and perspective, shear for motion velocity, squash and stretch for cartoony effects, convex and concave for distortion shapes, and of course all these presets can be adjusted further. So at least you should have a solid point to start even if the effect isn't exactly what you need for your use case. One other amazing thing is that you can layer these deformations on top of each other, which makes the tool extremely versatile, more than it already is. For example, if your character is walking or jumping, you can accentuate that motion by introducing more bounce to the motion. So, Cartoon Animator is a powerful tool that can easily fit into any artist's workflow or production pipeline. And I know we talked about the images to animation features here, but that's not even scratching the surface. The software offers a powerful tool to build G3 full 360 characters, driven facial animation with facial mocap, lip syncing animation from audio, 3D parallax scenes, support for vector graphics, smart content manager, and much, much more. 
We can create a full video detailing each feature, but today we just want to highlight the image to animation capability of the new Cartoon Animator 5. But let us know in the comments down below if you want to see more videos and maybe even tutorials about Cartoon Animator 5. And to see the full list of features, don't forget to check out the link down in the description. Just recently, Cartoon Animator Update 5.1 was released, and with it, you can check out the result of their recent competition, Animation at Work, which you can see how to participate in the competition held every year. And finally, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe with the notifications on so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for Reillusion for sponsoring this video and catch you soon. Take care.